hey besties and welcome or welcome back to my channel um i don't know if you've seen if you've watched my last video you'll know that i am determined this month to finish my monthly tbr that i picked out in my september tbr jar video i have never finished a monthly tbr that i've set for myself and this month i am determined last week i dedicated to reading books solely off my tbr and that is exactly what i'm doing this week as well i have made a little wheel spinner let me see if i can pull it up i've made a little wheel spinner and it has all of the books that are left on my tbr for this month on here there's five books left i ticked off three last week even though one was a dnf but let's not talk about that um but i'm going to quickly run through the books that i have left on my tbr then we're going to spin the wheel and we're going to read whatever book the wheel chooses so ah uh, here they are so the first book we have is gold by raven kennedy which is the fifth book in the plated prisoner series which is a fantasy romance series that's kind of spicy um, then we have Only When It's Us by Chloe Lees, which is the first book in this Bergman Brothers series. It looks like a sports romance to me. Um, that's all I know about it. Then we have Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent, which is the first book in the War of Lost Hearts series. I just realised that most of these books are in series. Um, but Carissa Broadbent is the author of The Serpent and Wings of Night, etc. Then we have When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker, which is also the first in a fantasy series. And then finally, the only book that is not in a series, we have Middle of the Night by Riley Sager, which is a thriller. Um, I honestly don't know which one of these I want to read. Like, I, I just don't know what I'm in the mood for right now. I'm leaning towards Middle of the Night by Riley Sager, but, but that might just be because it's one of the shortest ones on here um when the moon hatched daughter of no worlds and gold are all very long books i think all of them are over 500 pages so i'm kind of scared for those but we're just gonna read whatever the wheel tells us to so i'm gonna screen record really quick and i'm just gonna spin the wheel why am i so scared i don't know okay i'm just gonna spin it Oh no. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was about to pick when the moon hatched, but it chose only when it's us, which is the only romance book on this TBR. That's quite exciting. So this is a 360 page romance. I'm gonna read the blurb so you guys know, and me, so that we know what this book's about. So it says, Ryder. Why she hates me, I don't know. What I do know is that Willa Sutter is the kind of chaos I don't need in my tidy life. Wild hair, wilder eyes, bee stung lips that should be illegal, a temper that makes the devil seem friendly, and she's turned our business mathematics course into a gladiator arena. Willa. Rather than give me the lecture notes I missed like every other professor, I've been told to get them from the silent, surly, flannel-wearing mountain man sitting next to me in class. Well, I tried. And what did I get from Ryder Bergman? Ignored. As a fem female soccer player, I've battled men before, but with Ryder, it's war, and victory is going to taste so, so sweet. Oh my god, okay, it's like rivals to lovers. It's like, like, classroom rivals to lovers. It's a college romance, she's a female soccer star. Okay, I'm excited to read this now, I can't wait. And... I didn't know what I was in the mood for, but actually, now that this has been picked for me, I feel like I'm in the mood for a romance, so I'm very excited. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There's a content warning on one of the pages, and it says it includes spoilers, so I'm not going to read it out, but I do not like what's in the content warning. Okay. I was really excited and then I read the content warning and now I'm really scared. <laughs> there is a playlist, that's cool. Okay, first of all, I've just got to the first chapter and the first um, song that goes with the first chapter is an absolute bop. So the first song is Hurricane by Bridget Mendler. Guys, guys, do you know Hurricane by Bridget Mendler? That, that is a tune. Okay, 
I'm excited again now. Let's ignore the content warnings and just read on. Okay, I've been reading for not long, but the sun drastically set. Um, I'm on chapter 4, which is page 38, and I already have thoughts. I've made some notes. Um, so first of all, this is a dual path romance, which is perfect. Um, it does include a deaf MMC, um, so there's representation there. Um, I would check the trigger warnings before you read the book, because... I did say that I was reading them at the start, but it does say it contains spoilers. So if you want to go in with no spoilers whatsoever, then you obviously don't have to. But I would recommend it, especially like y you just you just don't, you never know. There might be something in there that you don't think is going to affect you, and then it does. So I would say just check the trigger warnings before you read this. Um, yeah, the main character Willa is a female football player, and she's so stubborn and like. She doesn't like asking for help and stuff. I really like her at the minute. But also, um, the Willa's best friend is called Rooney and she's also on the football team. And I don't know if that's like a... Obviously this book is American because they call it soccer. But I don't know if her best friend being called Rooney and also being a footballer is like a, you know, a little Easter egg um, at Wayne Rooney. If you're not British, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, yeah, it's like college rivals and it's also forced proximity because they're in the same class. They're like sit next to each other in class and now they're going to have to work on a project together. Um, but currently we're only, like I said, four chapters in and Willa doesn't know that um, Ryder is deaf. So there's sort of a bit of miscommunication literally right off the bat which is annoying um but hopefully because it's happening so early on in the book we're not going to get that again later on also ignore the fact that i literally have five nails on on the all of my fingers um but yeah so those are just my first few thoughts it's it's good like it's nothing like insane but it's good so far and I am enjoying myself when I'm reading it, so, yeah. It's update time um, on Only When It's Us. I did make a few more notes. Did I tell you the first notes I made? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so, I'm now on page 103, which is chapter 9. So I'm not, like, that far into it. I'm about 30% in. Guys... It's okay. It's fine. Um, some thoughts, though. First of all, how many times can you tell us that he smells like trees? Like, every other sentence when Willa is talking, she's like, oh my god, he, sm he smells like the forest, he smells like trees, he's such a lumberjack. He literally just wears flannel shirts and has a beard, and she's like, oh my god, he's such a lumberjack. Like, like come on, think of something different to describe him. Like, I don't need you to tell me every five minutes that he smells like trees. I don't care. Also, like, this is Willa again. Maybe I just really don't like Willa. Um, but she's, like, genuinely insane, like, psychotic. Like, she's just insane. She literally just met him and, like, started studying with Ryder. And then wore, like, this booby top to the lecture because she thought, oh, it's gonna annoy him. This is sexual harassment. I don't like Willa. And I don't know, like... I don't know if I'm enjoying the book or not. I really don't. It's like, one minute I'm enjoying it, and then I'll read a Willa chapter, and I'm just really not enjoying it. I think maybe I just don't like Willa. But, like, recently, I think I've just not been into romance books, really. Like, unless they're fantasy romance or... Romance is like a subplot in, in, a, in a genre of book. I just don't think I'm a romance girly right now. And I don't know if it's a phase or if I'm like 
just going off romance. I don't know what it is. And that's an issue because I have hundreds of romance books on my shelf that I haven't read yet. But I just don't think I'm in a... Maybe I'm just not in a romance mood. Maybe I won't say that I've gone off romance completely. I'm just not in a romance mood right now. And that's an issue because this is a romance book. So I am going to try and read a few more chapters. If I get bored, I'm just going to spin the wheel again. And we're just going to start something else alongside it. Um, because maybe my problem is that I can only read romances in small setting like small sections so we'll see i'll try and read a few more chapters and then we might spin the wheel again in other news as well i did finish my reread of queen of shadows today and it was five stars and now all i want to do is pick up empire of storms and tower of dawn and start the tandem read but that's not what we're doing in this vlog I my camera is really about to die so i need to make this update quick but i'm now just over 50 percent into only when it's us i'm on page 188 guys this book is so annoying like the entire book is just miscommunication like there's not just one aspect of it that's miscommunication it's the entire book <sighs> which is annoying and also she's still going on about him being a lumberjack and smelling of trees like if i hear pine or cedar one more time or if i read pine or cedar one more time i'm literally gonna lose my mind this book's really annoying me but i want to carry on like i really want to carry on because something's just happened that like links these two characters and they didn't know that this linked them and we didn't know that this linked them and now Ryder found out that this thing links these two characters so i want to know how that storyline plays out and also there is a really sad storyline in this as well but like the rest of it is just pissing me off bad but i'm gonna carry on <laughs> because i already dnf one book this month and i don't want to dnf another one even though i need to start being more brutal with my dnfs but i'm gonna carry on and just see but it's just really annoying me anyway my battery's dying so okay I finished only when it's us guys guys I don't know if this one's for me I'm not gonna lie I really don't know if this one's for me I had to like force myself to finish this book um I did actually cry <laughs> while I was reading this book but it was like to do with the subplot rather than the actual storyline um, if you don't like miscommunication, you won't like this book, which is, I think, why I didn't like this book. Because I absolutely hate miscommunication, and this entire book was just, just entirely miscommunication. Neither of them told each other what was going on with them the entire time. Ryder didn't tell her something that he really, really should have told her. And Willa didn't tell him something she really should have told him. They're both just didn't communicate and it just really annoyed me um yeah i did cry please do look up the trigger warnings because i was really upset reading this book but not like that's not what made the book negative for me um that's actually the part that i enjoyed <laughs> but yeah i will say this is a really good autumn or winter read because it's set over like fall and like into christmas time and new years so it's a really good autumn or winter read if you're looking for that um it is spicy the tropes are like frenemies like classroom rivals um rivals to lovers type vibe um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna write it it's feeling like a 2.5 maybe three at a push but i feel like three is high no, I feel like 3 is good. Maybe 2.5. I don't know. <laughs> 2.5 slash 3 for now. If I end up settling on an actual writing, then I'll let you know. Um, but that does mean that we have to pick our next book. So, let me pull up the wheel. So, I do have the books here. I have four books left on my TBR. On my September TBR. 
which are When the Moon Hatched, Middle of the Night, Daughter of No Worlds and Gold. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that we either get Middle of the Night or When the Moon Hatched. Um, I don't know why those are just the books I'm feeling right now, but I'm just going to spin the wheel and we're going to see what we get. Oh no. I know I just said I wanted this. Oh, you can't even see it. That's so annoying. I know I just said I wanted this. But I immediately regret it. No, I don't. I'm gonna... No, I don't. So we got When the Moon Hatched by Sarah Parker. I'm gonna hide that choice now. Um, okay. That's fine. <laughs> we got When the Moon Hatched. I really want to read this book. I think I've, like, just got a bit... Oh, my God. I didn't know there was... Okay, I didn't know that was hiding under there. I think I just got nervous because recently I've saw quite a few people that I follow or watch say that this didn't hit and that it was quite slow and that it just didn't live up to expectations, which really scares me. But again, I can't really like let that stop me reading it because there are so many books that I don't like that have loads of hype and that I do like that got bad reviews and stuff. So. Um, I need to just form my own opinion. This is also on Kindle Unlimited, which will be good um, because it's a big boy. This book is... Oh, there's a huge glossary. Okay. This book is 541 pages. Okay, it could be longer. Um, what I know about this is that it's a fantasy that has dragons in it. I think it's a fantasy romance. Um, the main character's an assassin. It just says, a world filled with mag magic dragons and a love that blazes through the ages. And it's the first book in the Moonfall series. Okay. Okay. I'm terrified to read this, but there's no time like the present. So this is the book we're going to be reading next. Cross off my September TBR. We're actually officially 50% in to my September TBR now. We've read four books out of the eight. So I'm very happy with that. We're starting our fifth. So here we go. Hello, so I'm 20% into When the Moon Hatched right now which is page 107 which is chapter 17 so yeah 20 percent in so i feel like i have enough thoughts to give my first update on this i am really enjoying it i've heard so many people say that the first like half of the book is really slow and that they were disappointed but i'm really enjoying it i felt really stupid in the beginning because i didn't understand what was going on at all because it's it's high fantasy like it's a completely new world there's so many different terms for things there's dragons there's um magic there's these gods that are called the creators there's so many things in this that does mean that in the beginning it's hard to get into because you're learning all about the new world and about everything that's going on about about what all the terms mean i will say i haven't even like looked really into the glossary because I just feel like I'm getting it as I'm going along. Um, I will say some of the things like give, it gives like historical, even though it's not historical because none of this has ever happened, but it's just giving me like a historical vibe, like just the way they're described that they're dressed and stuff. And there's also a king and our main character Rave, I think that's how you say her name. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know if that's actually the correct pronunciation. So there is a pronunciation guide at the back. Yeah, it is Rave. Um, so Rave is like this sort of assassin type character who is, it's not called a rebellion, but it's kind of like a rebellion. It's this group of people who go against the laws um, of the world because, 
I don't, if I try and explain this, I'm not gonna do it justice, but I'm gonna try my best. So, there are five creators, by the way, this is not spoilers. There are five creators and different people are either a null or like a fae. So null means they don't have any power. They're not like magic at all. Um, and then the fae, like each of them can hear one of the different gods or creators and each creator is symbolized by a person wearing uh, an earring that has the color that corresponds with the creator now bear with me so <laughs> basically rave and this group of people go against this and don't like the idea of the gnolls and the phase, so they're like a rebellion, if that makes sense. So Rave's our main character. So far we've had four point of views, which is Rave's point of view, we've had the guy's point of view, I forgot his name, um, we've had a third point of view that we don't know who it is, and then there's a diary entry point of view that is set like five million years ago, I think. Um, so yeah. Lots of point of views, lots of information, but I'm really enjoying it and I am reading it slowly because I'm trying to understand the world, but that's not bothering me at all. Like, I don't mind going slow to understand everything correctly. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far, honestly. Um, so I hope it continues to be good. But yeah, that's my When the Moon Hatched update. I'll try and read some more tonight, but again it is taking me a while so i don't know how far i'm gonna get tonight um but we'll see but the wheel spinner did a good job with this one i think finished reading when the moon hatched and i'm not gonna lie like i'm really really conflicted about this book i just don't know how i feel honestly i'll go through a couple of things that i felt about it so firstly this book was very very slow to read especially for the first like 70 percent um which does make sense because it's the start of a new like epic fantasy series it's there's new languages new worlds loads of words are different currency is different the worlds are different like there's so much to learn like it is an epic fantasy so if you're expecting like a cute little cozy fantasy like it's easy to read this is not it it is a an epic fantasy however it being slow didn't stop me from wanting to read it like I did really want to pick it up and yeah the slow slowness of it did not put me off reading it at all it ended up taking me eight hours and 47 minutes to read which is a long time for me I'm not gonna lie it's like it looks huge it's 541 pages so it's not like that big um it just looks big um but yeah like nearly nine hours is a long time for me um, that's probably the slowest I've read a book all year, honestly. So we follow Rave, who is an assassin, or we meet her as an assassin, and also Khan, who is, um, one of the three kings of this world. The world is split into three sections, the Shade, the Fade, and the Burn, and Khan is one of the kings. All of the kings are brothers. I'm gonna not spoil anything so I'm gonna go into this very very vaguely so I don't spoil anything um but Rave and Khan meet when Rave did I say Rain? Rave and Khan meet when Rave is an assassin um and Khan's like he's the king but he's not in his own kingdom anyway they meet and it follows them it's sort of sort of an enemies to lovers story we get Rive's perspective for the most part, like 90% of the book is Rive's perspective. 
we get a few chapters of Khan's perspective and a few chapters of a couple of other perspectives. And I will say that one of the perspectives just didn't make sense. It just was not clarified what this was or what was happening. And to be honest, like the whole book, I was waiting for that to be clarified and like to find out who that is, who that perspective is, what's going on there. And out of the 90 chapters we got in this book, two chapters were of this other perspective and it just wasn't clarified at all which i guess like that was setting up for the next book and we're going to find out in the next book but i don't know i just felt like we needed a bit more information there i will say i really like enjoyed the plot i didn't expect the i guess it's a plot twist i didn't expect it at all like i didn't know that that's the route we were going to go down so i did enjoy that and I like the main character Rave <laughs> and I will say the way the diary entries like it made sense in the end I understood that and I really liked that part of it the diary entries compared to present day I understood loved that part but yeah I just I just don't I'm really conflicted like I do want to read the next book it doesn't come out till like next October which is really annoying because I've got to wait like a year but I just don't know I just feel like some things needed to be clarified more and also I will say like I couldn't picture normally I'm really good at picturing things in my head as I'm reading them and with this book I just couldn't picture what was happening at all I couldn't picture what people looked like I couldn't picture the places I just couldn't see it in my head which was frustrating to me sometimes because I was having to reread because I'm like I don't I don't understand where we are or what's going on but at the same time I did really enjoy reading it so I'm just really conflicted honestly I will say if you're willing to invest time and brain power into trying to get into a new fantasy world this is worth it but don't expect like a really fast paced like action packed um easy to read fun fantasy because this is not it this is honestly quite sad it has quite a low undertone Brave has been through a lot um of bad things <laughs> throughout her life um and it is yeah it is difficult to understand but i did enjoy it normally i'm not like very specific with my writings i don't do like 0 0.25 0 0.75 and stuff i normally just do like you know three three point five four etc but i think i'm gonna give this one a 3.75 because i did really enjoy it but there was just some things that i felt like didn't make sense to me but that didn't take away from the story i just i don't know i feel like 3.75 is a good rating for me to settle on at this moment in time that is how i feel anyway that is the end of this video we read two books using the wheel spinner um i've ended up reading five out of eight books on my september tbr which i'm quite happy with it's just like it's like october in two days so i'm not gonna finish my september tbr but i'm very proud of me and how i've done Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.